So basically we're using a five gallon water cooler. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole right here in the bottom. We're gonna put a lavatory sink strainer. This is only inch and a quarter. That's gonna come right off the bottom. We'll seal that up. We've got to adapt from the inch and a quarter to inch and a half. And that's what this is all about right here. This will adapt that to that with the washers. And then we have a bushing that's gonna come out with three quarter inch pipe, bring it down to a nozzle, and we're all set. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off the lavatory nut. This is the assembly. We need this to make the measurement so we can cut that out. So kind of center it up, doesn't have to be perfect. Use your pen or pencil. Then, using your X-Acto knife, we just need to trim this out. So let's see if this actually will cut this. So now we have a good hole. You can see the strainer will fit right inside here. And then we'll put it here on the bottom. Use your X-Acto knife cut out a hole so this piece can come out it's going to sit like this so with your vice grips just go ahead and tighten that bolt up tight as it'll go and this this rain barrel <laughs> instant hot water it's only five gallons but we'll put the assembly on then we're going to set it up on the top secure it and then we'll just add the gutter drop a little bit of water here in the top It'll fill this thing up instantly. So let's go ahead and finish up the barrel. Okay, so we're ready for our final assembly. You can see we've got from, from inside of this five gallon container, we've run a lavatory sink drop, you know, the strainer from your lavatory. Next, we're gonna adapt that to schedule 40 PVC. This is a compression washer and a compression nut they just screw on. And they're basically designed to be hand tight. So you don't need to get a wrench or anything. Just get it on there good and hand tight. Next we're going to put on a bushing. This is inch and a half down to half inch. And it's going to slide right in here. We're going to glue that up right now. outside of the fitting because it's a bushing. It's just going to slide right inside. Just push it tight, hold it, it's done. Next we're going to put just a little piece of, of half inch PVC because that's going into our valve right here. This will be our shut off and from here we'll put on the shower head. Let's go ahead and glue all that up. Good amount of glue on your PVC slides into your bushing. That one's set. Always, when you put your glue into your valve, make sure that the valve's open. In the closed position, that glue might set up and it'd be real hard for you to get this thing to uh, you know, open and close. Get some good glue on there, wrap it around it. Good amount of glue, there we go. Slide our valve on. And we're done. So basically we're going to take this up on the roof and I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot of water and it's not but it's going to be more than enough for you to take a nice little hot shower uh, real quick as soon as the sun hits this this will probably heat up to I'm not even sure we're going to find out I bought this little thermometer and we're going to mount that inside of it and we're going to see how hot that water actually gets. Let's go up on the roof there and mount. So you can see how easy this sits up here. You notice that I've created a little bit of a gap right there just to make sure it'll all fit. It fits solid. Then I'm gonna take something and we'll just secure it down here, some straps, just so that the wind doesn't blow it over. And then from the gutter up there, we'll go ahead and run another drop down into here so that you know it fills it up each time it rains. Works really good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.
<clears throat> so you can see we've got our rain barrel filled up here. I just put a little bit of water in it. <laughs> so I'll let that heat up and it's gonna come down. You can see where the nozzle will be. We'll kick that on. And here in just a few hours, we should have some really hot water. Mm -hmm. 